You know, here's a quick concept right here that I came about uh, not too long ago. And hopefully you guys can read my writing, but it says focus and it spells follow one course until successful. You see, I often hear that uh, in order for you to become successful in life, you need multiple streams of income. And I'm pretty sure you've probably heard the same thing and you probably believe it, right? Uh, because the average millionaire has seven streams of income. I don't know what millionaires you've been hanging around because the millionaires that I'm hanging around got one company, got one stream of income, got one flow of everything, and then they are trying as much as they can to draft everything else around their life and simply focus on that one thing. I personally haven't seen anybody worth anything significant that's got mil that got there by having multiple things going on. And in fact, those that that have the shiny object syndrome just simply never never pass the 20, 50, 100k per month in profits, you know? And if you look at big companies like Tesla, if you look at companies like uh, uh, um, uh, like Amazon, if you look at someone like Warren Buffett, who was you know, arguably one of the largest and smartest uh, uh, traders uh, in the world, you're going to see that he likes to focus on one thing. The reason why he did not invest in Apple way before he did was simply because he did not understand the Apple product. Um, he has a specific criteria and then he's always made his money based on that specific criteria. Uh, the reason why he, you know, he does certain things is because, again, he understands it. The reason why he's so against cryptocurrency because he does not understand it and it is just not his thing, right? Yet, many of you watching today um, probably have a couple thousand dollars or 10,000 or whatever and have probably looked at investing in crypto or dumping it in a new NFT or whatever uh, a million times more than Warren Buffett has ever done so or ever will, you know? When he's sitting on like 150, 200 billion dollars in, in cash right now. So why is that? Well, because society has implanted in our minds that multiple streams of income is the way to financial freedom. Passive income is the way to financial freedom, you know? And although some of those things are, are right, but trust me when I tell you, I personally did not get to where I am today um, with multiple streams of income. I did not achieve what I have today by, you know, by focusing or by spreading my focus in a million different things. Because when you focus your, uh, like literally the equation in my, in my, uh, 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 you know, in my personal opinion, the equation to success is focus multiplied by time equals success, right? So if you focus on one thing for a long period of time, you will achieve success, whatever that thing is. Right now, also there is the vehicle, right? So how, what's the potential of that vehicle? You know, uh, is the vehicle, uh, uh, could, you know, how big can it grow? How much could it actually uh, become? You know, so for instance, if you invested in cryptocurrency, let's say a thousand dollars 10 years ago, um, you know, obviously that would be worth a lot more than if you were to invest in cryptocurrency today. So it's also about timing, but then there are some things that are timeless, meaning Regardless when you get into them, you will always accomplish great things. So for me, it's like an Amazon business. Many people will tell me, uh, uh, will try to argue that five, six years ago when I first started, the opportunity selling on Amazon was greater than it is today. And that's wrong. The opportunity is greater today than it was because now there are tools, now there are automations, now there are a lot more customers on Amazon buying. Now there is a lot more awareness about shopping online and the shoppers habits have gone online than it was uh, before, right? Now, is it more saturated in terms of the sellers? Absolutely, there are a lot more sellers today than there was five, six, six years ago. But again, the demand is a lot more today than it was five, six years ago, right? So these kinds of vehicles are timeless. That does not matter when you get into them, they will always be viable, right? So for you, what does it mean for you? You know, what is, what is everything that I just discussed in the last few minutes mean for you? Well, before I get into there, if this is your first time to the channel, please consider subscribing. Also smash the thumbs up button because it helps us rank in the algorithm. So when it comes to wanting to accomplish something great in life, when it comes to wanting to uh, achieve great things in life, there's always a lot of noise around you. There's always a lot of things happening around you and simply just people pushing you in different directions. And when you're first starting out, you 
don't even believe 100% in the thing that you're doing, right? So for instance, you've got a job, right? The average person, you've got a job and you've been watching me and you've been watching five other people online telling you about all these opportunities. And I'm, te you know, I'm telling you about Amazon FBA and then Bob is telling you about affiliate marketing. Joe is telling you about NFTs. You know, John is telling you about cryptocurrency and Eric is telling you about flipping houses online for a profit, right? Well, for you, you're watching all five people at the same time because all these five things seem interesting and, and, and all those five things are great vehicles and there's people that have made money and, and all of them and so on, right? So it's like, how do you choose the thing, right? How do you, def you know, what do you, like, what are the things that you look at to choosing the thing, right? Well, that's important, but what's more important is that regardless what you choose, you need to stick to it. And I always like to say, put in mind two years. So you've got five vehicles. Let's say you've got Amazon FBA, you've got affiliate marketing, you've got real estate, you've got crypto, and you've got NFTs, right? You're looking at these five vehicles. Whichever, it's, what's more important is not whichever of them you choose. What's important is that whichever of them you choose, you need to stick to it for a minimum of two years. So the question they have to ask yourself is, which one of those five things do I feel like I can still be interested in for the next two years, even if I made zero cash? So that's the question they have to ask yourself. Can I stick to any of those five things for the next two years, even if I made zero money from now until two years? And, and even a more important question is, can I be okay? Will I not regret my choice if after two years I got nowhere and I made no money, and then I will say, okay, this is not gonna work, I'm gonna dump it, I'm gonna go to the next thing or whatever my next five options are in five years, right? Or in two years. So the problem is that a lot of people do not stick to any of those one things for any great length of time for them to even get their reward because they are being indoctrinated by the online guru telling them that in six months, the guru was able to go from, you know, Toyota to Lamborghini, right? And they were able to go from one bedroom apartment in the ghetto to a seven bedroom, 15 bathroom mansion uh, um, on the beach in Cabo, you know? And so for you, it's like, well, it just makes no fucking sense for me to go any longer than three, four, five, six months doing the same thing because if it doesn't work, then it's either the guru is a scam or the thing is a scam or I just don't get it or whatever, right? But it's really, it's, well, the guru is a fucking scam. If anyone's telling me that you can become rich and or do anything significant in six months, they're a complete scam. But for you, and it's not your fault because you haven't been educated otherwise, but I'm here to tell you that anything you choose, ask yourself two questions, three questions. Number one, am I okay with focusing on this thing? And write those down, right? Like literally write those down. The first question is, am I okay with taking on this one project for the next two years and even if I make no money at the end of why during the two years. Number two, am I going to be disciplined to do nothing else but focus on this one thing for the next two years? Number three, will I not regret spending the next the last two years at the end of the two years? If you made zero money, will you not regret your choice? So in other words, if you win the whole two years, and made zero money, focusing on the one thing, will you not regret the last two years? If the answer is yes to all of them, at least if the answer is yes to two of them, then go for it. But if you can't get a yes for at least two of them, then that's not it. Go to the next thing and go to the next thing. But you will find the one thing. And I was in your position five, six years ago. When I first started Amazon FBA, I had also been looking at a million other things, right? And I had to make that choice. And I had to stick to it. And trust me, as I was progressing, there were all these other things. I mean, just within Amazon, there's like half a dozen different concepts. You know, I started with retail arbitrage where I would go to stores and flip products that way. And then I went to online arbitrage and there was wholesaling that I never even touched. And there's all these other ways of making money on Amazon. There is like becoming an affiliate for people and doing all that stuff. There is merch by Amazon, which I actually attempted and it just wasn't successful. And then I stuck to private label. 
And then as I, was, as I started making money, it was like, well, my money's sitting in the bank. Let me go invest in real estate. Uh, there is crypto. Let me go buy some crypto. There is this other thing right here. Let me go do that other thing. But then your, um, what's the word? Your confidence in the thing that you're doing becomes stronger as you spend more time, as you start making some money, and as you see the potential, right? So for me, <clears throat> When I started seeing the potential and how large it is, because it just makes no sense for you to start something else when the thing that you're in, you are nowhere near the max. And that's the thing with a lot of people. The reason why they never see the full potential because they don't, never stay in the one thing for long enough to even be exposed to the max potential, right? They go and add it for two, three, four months. They maybe make some money or don't make, most of the time, don't make shit. And they're like, oh, this doesn't work. I'm gonna go to the next thing. Oh, and I dabble in this, and I dabble in that, and I dabble in that because, you know, I want multiple streams of income because, you know, I want to be financially free because, you know, I want passive income because, you know, no, I don't. I'm telling you, I'm an eight-figure earner today, and I only focus on one thing, and that's Amazon. That's the one platform. Some people may say, but what if Amazon goes down? You're relying on one thing. <clears throat> what would happen then? Yeah, you're right. What would happen then? I don't know. Because we're not there. I'm gonna do everything we can every single day to make sure that doesn't happen. And when we, if that ever happens, I'll just pivot and I'll do something else. And then I'll focus full time on that. But the reason why I was able to go from five to six figures in under a year, from six to seven figures in under a year, and from seven to eight figures in under a year was because I focused on one thing. Now you realize year, 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 year. So it's taken me five years to go from negative to eight figures. Because length of time times focus. Focus times multiplied by time equals success. Hope this video found you well. If you have any questions or if you want us to, if there's any other topics that you guys want us to talk about, please drop them in the comments. Outside of that, if this is your very first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and also be sure to smash the thumbs up button. Hope to see you in the next video. Cheers.